Yo, what's up guys? Old School Dan here and in today's video we're going to be discussing Harold Poole's daily diet. With that being said, let's jump right into it. Alright, for those who don't know who Harold Poole is, he was the first African American to be named IFBB Mr. America in 1964 and he was the only man to compete in the first three Mr. Olympia's um, contests, finishing runner-up to Larry Scott in the first two. Here's the diet. Pre-breakfast, he has two four-ounce glasses of crash weight. So I'll be discussing what, what crash weight is later on in the video, but let's just keep moving forward. So the crash weight has 450 calories. Um, for breakfast, he has three ounces of fried ham, 342 calories, three fried eggs, 300, um, that's supposed to say calories, sorry, it says, not, not grams, it's calories, um, two slices of whole wheat toasted butter, 206 calories, Six ounces of glass or um, glass orange juice, 84 calories. One cup of blueberries with four tablespoons of light cream, 205 calories. Finishing off breakfast with four ounce glass of crash weight, 225 calories. So like I said, I'll be go going over what crash weight is later on in the video, but let's just keep it rolling. I also forgot to mention that the article that Haropool wrote in this um, magazine actually has three different diets. He's got his daily diet right here that's actually written out in a schematic form. And then he's got two other ones. He's got a cut up diet and a bulking diet written in text form. So schematic form is basically the, the format I have in right now. That way it's all just readable easily. Whereas the text form is just kind of like, oh, so I ate four glasses of orange juice um, plus spinach. And it's all written out in text. Not, there's not really any numbers. But um, anyways, the diet continue. I mean, there's numbers, but you get what I mean. But for lunch, he has an 8-ounce hamburger steak, 827 calories, 1 cup of tomato and lettuce salad, 25 calories, 8-ounce tomato, 50 calories, 3-inch baked apple with sugar, and 1 tablespoon of light cream, 208 calories, 8-ounce glass of crash weight, 408. 450 calories. The diet continued for pre-workout. He has 10 ounce of Nutra Muscle, 235 calories. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even know what Nutra Muscle is. It might be a pre-workout drink, as in like a protein powder, a large carbohydrate um, drink. I'm not even sure. Um, I didn't even bother to research that one because I it's just I don't I couldn't even figure it out. But then we got the evening meal, which is a big evening meal. The big evening meal is his um after his workout. So we got the 16 ounce sirloin steak, 750 calories, one cup of green beans, 27 calories, two slices of whole wheat bread with butter, 206 calories, one large baked potato with butter, 250 calories, one cabbage slaw with 300 calories. I think that's the equivalent to what we call coleslaw nowadays. Two scoops of vanilla ice cream, eight ounces, nice. 300 calories, and then we got 8 ounces of crash weight, 450 calories. So I know I mumble some, sometimes, guys. Sorry, um, I don't really fucking care that I mumble. Um, I'm trying to work on it, but I've had a speech impediment ever since I was, like, what, 6 years old. When I speech classes, fixed it, and now it's back, and now I mumble. Um, I really have no issue with it. It doesn't really bother me that much. It's just annoying when people have to ask me to repeat myself. Sometimes I don't even feel like talking, but I do it anyways because I'm a human being. We all make mistakes and we all have imperfections. Anyways, let's keep going. Nighttime snack, which is the last meal of his uh, day. We got Frankfurter on roll, 225 calories. Then we got another four ounce crash weight last quart, 225 calories. Now, let's move on to what uh, the crash weight is. Sorry, I was actually, uh, man, the uh, total calories for the day. Then we're going to go over what the crash weight is. So I was going to calculate macros like fast proteins and carbs of this diet but the one that was difficult to find out was what crash weight consisted of like how much fat how many carbs and how much protein now i tried to see on amazon that it was on there but i'm not sure if that was the old school formula because this magazine was written in what let me see this magazine was written in um july of what year is it man where this is a damn year um 1965 so I'm pretty sure the the newer crash weight formula is a lot different from what it was back then. There's actually a lawsuit that um, Joe Weider was going through, sort of like an sort of like some allegations that was going on 
with the crash weight formula that I'm going to be discussing later on in the video. But the total calories for the day was 600, 6,000, sorry, excuse me, 6,260 calories. The macros are unknown. Um, I could have calculated it with the, um, without the crash weight, but I really wanted to know what, it's, what it is with the crash weight, you know. But now let me show you what the crash weight is. So the crash weight gainer was basically a weight gainer. Um, crash weight weight, gain, weight gainer, the weight booster of champions with high potency vitamin and mineral additives. Gain up to 14 pounds in your next 14 days. So about it's basically um, a weight gainer that claims to get gain 14 pounds in, four, in, in 14 days. Add up to 3 inches up to your chest, 2 inches to your arms and thighs as those Weeder students have done. Enroll today in Weeder Research Clinic's pound a day. So let me show you the lot, the um, the allegations that were happening um, with this. All right, so I was reading an article on the uh, in the book Three More Reps. Actually, I'm sorry, not on Three More Reps. Muscle Smoke and Mirrors. And let me read, let me read you this. Joe Weeder's share of the supplement market had grown tremendously by the 1970s, and for his efforts, he had joined Bob Hoffman in the target list of the United States Postal Services. In October of 1975, the General Counsel of the Postal Services participated in proceedings that leveled charges against Weeder for scheming to obtain money or property through the mail by means of false representation. The investigation was regarding Joe's crash weight formula number no. seven and its variant in name only crash weight game formula number no. seven sold under a myriad of addresses. Weeder was answering for a number of the advertising claims such as number one. That use of respondents' product as recommended will lead to 14 pounds of weight gain in 14 days. Number two, that use of re respondents' product as recommended will lead to fast, healthy weight gain. Number three, that use of respondents' product adds muscle and strength to the entire body. Number four, that use of respondents' product will add muscle and strength without the necessity of engaging in exercise programs. Number five, that respondents' product is a unique and special formula. Number six, that the user of the respondent's product simply drinks his way to good health. So Arnold Schwarzenegger testified on behalf of Joe Weider. He stated that he preferred the 1800 calorie version and spiced up the calories by adding nuts, dry food, bananas, and sometimes whiskey. Arnold looked to be obviously lighting up what was probably a ridiculous line of questioning. Nevertheless, Schwarzenegger was going along, going along for the ride. So... One man Joe would not have wanted as a witness for his claim of 14 pounds of muscle in 14 days using his crash weight formula um, gain number seven was Boyer Co. Actually, Co. Was, was only a kid nearing Christmas in 1958 when he received his 14 little cans of earlier weeder product touting similar claims. Sorry, I'm still reading from the book. I well recall telling all my friends that after the Christmas break, I was going to come back to school 14 pounds heavier, all muscle I might add. The first day of Christmas vacation, I got up early, rode to my bike over to the Theriot's feed store. I didn't want to tr I didn't want to trust my weight to a mere bathroom scale, and I wanted something official. So I talked to the guy who ran the scale that weighed horse and cattle feed to weigh me. I was going to record my daily progress. After the weigh-in, I rode back I rode my bike directly home and mixed the first container with a quart of milk and drank it down. About 20 minutes later, I threw, the entire, I threw up the entire contents up. So that's the story for you right there. But let me show now to finish off the video. That was an interesting little story. Um, to finish off the video, I want to show you the sources where I actually got these, uh, these articles from. All right, so here are my sources. We got Muscle Builder. This is one I have in my hand right now. It got it from, um, I bought it off eBay for about $18. Um, I bought another one that has Chet Yorin's uh, Chet Jordan's um, chest routine that was like 50 bucks and I got another one that I don't want to name yet because that one's pretty um, That one's a special surprise, but I just I leaked I I didn't mean to leak the um, Chet Jordan one But I just want to say it because I you know why not fuck it and then we got the second source which is the muscle smoke and mirrors volume 2 which is uh, the first I haven't read any of the volumes, but I've read small bits and pieces these are amazing books. These have an incredible amount of information in them. They got talk. They were talking in. I think in the first volume was talking about how Steve Reeves was a big fan of vitamin B, um, B12 shots. Apparently back then that was code name for steroids. So that was, I found that interesting in the first one. And then here I found, you know, the allegations of the um, towards Joe Weider about his weight gaining um, supplement. So. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a special little video that I um, I just got the magazine today. I was like, you know what? Let me just make the video and I'll premiere it. Um, what day is it today? Probably just to build some hype, maybe on Wednesday. Um, no, like maybe Wednesday or Thursday, just to build some a little more hype. That way people kind of like notice it. I'm, probably, I'm most likely going to give it a, um, a misleading title or something kind of like clickbait. So that way it gets a lot of views. That way it can make more money on YouTube. That way, therefore, I can buy more content because i took it in advance on the uh, youtube paycheck i spent 50 bucks on the um chad gordon magazine 18 bucks on the uh this um it, this actually has multiple routines it's got sergio olivia's full routine in there eric peterson's favorite exercise tara pulls um diet dave draper's um shoulder routine and tons of other stuff in here the other one's got um the chad gordon routine this one was 18 bucks. The um, muscle builder, the one I'm, that you're looking on the screen right now. And the last one was like about 20, 30 bucks, I think. And so that in total, it was like about like, 80, like 70, 80 dollars for in total. And my YouTube paycheck usually goes down to 100, 100 bucks. So um, hopefully I can make more money. That way I can buy more content without having to invest too much of my money in there. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. With that being said, Please share my content with people. I really appreciate it if you guys would share my content. Um, appreciate all the views you guys give me, all the support, all the comments. Um, really appreciate those comments. Um, thanks for watching. I'm Old School Dan. I'm checking out. Peace.